Ah, uh, it's Ross Cooper, yeah. I well, hope you well. And I was just thinking of the some of the pets I used to have in Rhodesia and Zimbabwe. We grew up with dogs, and um, the first dog we had was called Present. And I wrote about him in Present, the three-legged dog. He was rescued by my father, who was a vet, and he had an abscess in one of his legs, hind legs. So he only literally ran on three legs, and the other one was vestigial. He was a great dog during the war, as he used to protect our property, and was fearless. He used to run into the felt, he used to gaze down into the whirlpools, the deep whirlpools in the stream and river running into Chipinga Dam. He used to run in the felt without fear of the terrorists, and on the farm at Crocodile Creek. <coughs> Present was also probably a good omen in our motor vehicle, so we didn't hit any landmines. And he wore a nice collar. He lived with us until we moved to Gels Court in Avondale, Ceres Road, and then into Vainona. And unfortunately, we had to be put down due to Hodgkinson's lymphoma, which is a type of cancer of the bone. He was a cross Labrador and boxer. Next we got a tiny little puppy that could fit in my hand. And his right in my the palm of my hand. And his name was Henry. He was a mongrel, crossed with a lot of breeds and he looked like he had Alsatian in him. A bit of Doberman, probably a bit of Jack Russell, all mixed. He was very intelligent. But only show him to do one thing, and he'd figure out as a puppy to do it. And he used to pee inside an empty uh, food dish so as not to pee on the floor. And I never trained him that. He learned that himself, so that not one drop of urine was on the floor of the kitchen. Obviously, he slept inside as a puppy, but as he got older, he had his kennel outside and guarded the property often from attack by thieves. And he was a wonderful dog, but <clears throat> being a roaming dog, he was always out and found ways to get out, including leaping over the gate. Unfortunately, he was hit by a truck on Tiviatale Road, close to Venona High School. She also wrote about him, Henry, the African dog, in another book, both published in Lulu. Um, the next two dogs that we had were Labradors, cross Labradors, and they were both bitches. And they were very good dogs in terms of being guard dogs, but they also used to collect prey and bring them as presents to my cottage door every morning, including blind worms, African giant rats, mice, shrews, etc. I also had Roy, rescued from the SPCA, but due to Unfortunate circumstances, including with my stepfather, I gave him away sadly to a neighbor of my grandparents where he lived a very long life. And he was um, a dog I rescued from the SPCA in Harare. Not everyone was kind to, to dogs in my family. <clears throat> and I learned that parents often, by their behavior towards animals, condition their children to also be likewise to the animal. So if a parent is cruel to an animal, so the child is likely to be cruel to an animal. So both the parents and the children need to be educated on how to look after animals, how to be kind to them, how to look after them, uh, vaccinate them, feed them, and um, take care of them. So I hope you and the SPCA in Zimbabwe are all well. And I know you in Bulawayo, Harare, and Mutari, and a few in Guero. I hope you're well and um, surviving, and I hope your donations are helping you. And I love your pictures on Facebook. Keep up the excellent work, and be safe during this coronavirus lockdown, won't you? But God bless you all, and all the very best to you. Take care. Bye now. Bye.